Did you know Pittsburgh International Airport is spending $1.7 billion not to get bigger, but to shrink itself? That is exactly what is happening at a place that in 1992 was called one of the world's most advanced airports with its unique X shape and underground train. Now this airport, which once served around 21 million passengers a year, is getting a complete makeover for a new purpose, aiming to cut the time from a car to an airplane by half. It is a bold move, set to finish by late 2025, showing how a city can turn a big loss into a shining example of smart engineering. But why would an airport choose to get smaller, and what does this mean for the future of air travel? Pittsburgh International Airport was purpose-built to be a massive connecting point, or hub, for US Airways. At its peak, more than 80% of the airport's traffic came from this single airline. Passengers would arrive at the landside terminal for ticketing and baggage, then take an underground automated train system, known as a people mover, to reach the airside terminal where all the gates were located. This train system ran in two parallel tunnels and stretched approximately 2,600 feet long. It could move at speeds up to 32 miles per hour and after upgrades carried around 8 million passengers every year. The system was a significant investment, costing $14 million initially, with further millions spent on improvements and refurbishments over the years. The design, with its distinct separation between landside and airside terminals connected by the train, made perfect sense in a hub model where most passengers were simply connecting through Pittsburgh. It boasted 75 gates and an expansive baggage infrastructure, all engineered for high-speed transfers and massive scale. However, the aviation landscape shifted dramatically after 2001. Following industry restructuring and financial challenges, US Airways began cutting flights and ultimately de-hubbed Pittsburgh in 2004. This transformation changed the airport from a bustling transfer hub into a mid-sized origin and destination airport, meaning most passengers now began or ended their journeys in Pittsburgh. By 2019, the facility was serving only about 9 million passengers annually, less than half of its original design capacity. This shift exposed deep inefficiencies in the 1992 terminal's layout. The train ride, once a necessity for transfers, became an inconvenience for local travelers. The massive gate and baggage systems were oversized for the airport's new role, leading to high maintenance costs and underutilized space. For example, the People Mover alone cost approximately $4.5 million in annual operating costs. The previous baggage system, an eight-mile-long conveyor network, also incurred significant maintenance expenses. With evolving passenger expectations favoring walkable terminals, daylight-filled interiors, and integrated services, the old facility increasingly felt outdated. In response to these challenges, the Allegheny County Airport Authority decided on a complete overhaul, not just a renovation. The goal was to build a right-sized, forward-looking terminal tailored to the region's current and future needs. Design work started in 2017, and construction officially broke ground in 2021 on a new billion-dollar terminal project. Pittsburgh's answer to its oversized legacy was a bold redesign centered on a new single main building, referred to as a headhouse. This new structure is strategically placed directly between the existing concourse wings. This smart new heart of the airport will be approximately 810,000 square feet in size and stand three stories tall. It consolidates all essential passenger functions, check-in, security, and baggage claim into a unified building directly connected to all gates. This innovative design completely eliminates the need for the old underground train system. The old people mover, which ran for 2,600 feet underground, will be permanently decommissioned. This change alone is projected to save the airport around $4.5 million each year in operating costs, in addition to reducing wear and tear on equipment and extending its life. By removing the train, the new design shortens walking distances and significantly simplifies the passenger experience. The terminal uses a clever vertical zoning system to manage passenger flow. 
departing passengers enter on the top level for check-in and security, then cross a short bridge directly to the concourse. Arriving passengers descend to baggage claim, whip ground transportation located on the lowest level. This stacked layout efficiently fits all passenger flows into the 75,300 square meter area, maximizing efficiency by unifying landside and airside operations. This consolidation creates a seamless journey from the curb to the gate, cutting the overall travel time from car to plane by half. Topping the new headhouse is a striking butterfly wing roof, a structural canopy inspired by Pittsburgh's iconic bridges. This elegant roof shelters both departure and arrival drop-off zones, providing a welcoming and protected entry point for travelers. Inside, the open hall is filled with abundant natural daylight from large windows and strategically placed skylights. The roof is supported by unique V-shaped columns that resemble tree branches, bringing a sense of nature indoors. Warm materials like wood, textured soffits, and metallic finishes were chosen to reflect the region's natural beauty and industrial heritage. The rolling shape of the roof is also designed for practical environmental benefits. It will collect rainwater, which will then be stored beneath the building and reused for purposes like watering the terrace gardens. This system reduces water consumption, saves money, and provides a reliable water source, further contributing to the airport's sustainability efforts the upper level of the new terminal centralizes all departing passenger functions into one large open hall. This includes airline counters, ticketing, and 12 TSA security screening lanes grouped together. Centralizing security into a single open area helps reduce queuing times and increases staffing flexibility. New technology will also be in place, allowing passengers to keep liquids and laptops in their bags making the screening process smoother and faster. The new baggage claim area is located directly beneath the check-in hall, creating a highly streamlined vertical layout. Luggage now moves through a much shorter tunnel system, which replaces the airport's previous 13-kilometer conveyor network. The primary goal of this simplified system is to speed up baggage delivery from the aircraft to the carousel, significantly reducing waiting times for passengers. This upgrade, combined with a streamlined baggage tug process, is expected to save airlines an additional $7 million annually. Pittsburgh is also at the forefront of airport automation, testing new automated baggage handling systems with a local startup called Journey Robotics. These robots use sensors and a large vacuum to select and grab suitcases from a pile, then place them onto a tray and a conveyor belt. Each bag is oriented with its handle facing forward and its front side up, ensuring smooth movement through the system. In addition to terminal improvements, a new five-level parking garage is being constructed, offering space for 3,300 public cars and 900 rental cars. This more than doubles the capacity of the existing garage. New roadways are also being developed for passenger drop-off and pickup. All these interconnected improvements are designed to cut the time it takes to go from a car to the airplane by half, demonstrating a holistic engineering approach to efficiency. Pittsburgh International Airport is not just transforming its terminal, it is also leading the way in energy innovation. In 2021, it became the first airport in the world to implement an on-site microgrid for power. This advanced system combines natural gas generators and a solar array to produce a total of 23 megawatts of energy. This microgrid provides remarkable self-sufficiency. It generates 17 megawatts from natural gas wells located directly on airport property and 6 megawatts from a solar array consisting of 9,360 solar panels spread across approximately 8 acres. This allows the airport to power all its operations, including the airfield, terminals, hotel, and fuel facilities, largely independently. While it remains connected to the main local power grid for backup, the microgrid is built to ensure continuous operation, even during regional power outages, making Pitt one of the most resilient airports globally. Building on this success, 
Pittsburgh is further expanding its solar capacity. The airport is adding another 11,216 high-efficiency solar panels across an additional 12 acres of land, specifically atop a closed landfill. This expansion, set to be completed by 2027, will generate an additional 4.7 megawatts of clean energy, reducing carbon emissions by approximately 5 million pounds per year. The electricity generated from this new solar field will even be supplied to the regional electric grid, providing the community with additional renewable energy. Looking further into the future, the airport is planning to develop the nation's first on-site sustainable aviation fuel, or SAF, production facility. This partnership with Avena Synthetic Aviation Fuel will utilize an alcohol-to-jet pathway to produce fuel with at least 65% less carbon intensity than conventional jet fuel. This facility is expected to produce over 100 million gallons of SAF annually in multiple phases. Building a new terminal, while an airport remains fully operational, is an enormous undertaking, fraught with complex engineering and logistical challenges. The Pittsburgh project, which spans approximately 6 million square feet of construction, had to be executed right next to active runways and within restricted airspace. One of the most significant hurdles involved building new structures directly over the existing underground train tunnels. These tunnels are considered the lifeblood of the airport, continuously moving thousands of people and goods every hour. Engineers had to design the new multi-modal complex and parking structure with specific modifications, such as reducing weight in certain areas, to ensure the integrity of the tunnels below was not compromised. Maintaining these tunnels and their operations was crucial, otherwise the airport would have faced the logistical nightmare of bussing up to 2,000 passengers per hour between terminals for years during construction. The use of massive cranes, some reaching heights of 288 feet and weighing 760,000 pounds, presented additional operational challenges. Given the restricted airspace, a strict daily protocol was established where crane operators had to receive permission from air traffic control before raising the long arm of the crane. This constant coordination between the construction team, airport operations and the FAA was essential for maintaining passenger safety and uninterrupted air traffic. Furthermore, a separate security checkpoint was established at a different exit from Interstate 376 for all construction workers and deliveries, effectively redirecting construction traffic away from the main airport entrance and roadway systems to minimize disruption to travelers. The project also incorporated significant green construction practices. Over 120,000 tons of concrete removed from the existing airfield were crushed on site and repurposed. This not only saved money, but also significantly reduced construction waste, demonstrating a commitment to sustainability even amidst the complexities of a live airport environment. Despite the innovative design and meticulous planning, the project was not without its bumps. Originally projected to cost $1.1 billion and be completed by 2023, the price tag has surged by over 50%, reaching $1.7 billion. Completion is now expected later this year, by the fall of 2025. It is important to note that no taxpayer money is being used for this project. It is financed through airport revenues and bonds that will be repaid by the airlines operating at PIT. Pittsburgh's innovative approach to shrinking smartly and modernizing its airport is becoming a blueprint for other airports across the United States. Many airports have faced similar challenges experiencing dramatic declines in demand after losing their hub status, leaving them with oversized, costly and inefficient facilities. Pittsburgh recognized these challenges and opted for a pragmatic approach, adapting to the new reality with a more sustainable plan. For instance, Cleveland Hopkins International Airport is planning a $1.1 billion overhaul with a new terminal set to open in 2032. Cleveland officials have openly stated that they are drawing inspiration from Pittsburgh's approach, particularly in right-sizing, capacity to meet modern demands and optimizing passenger flow. They are even building their new terminal in a different location, much like Pittsburgh's consolidation strategy, 
to enhance efficiency and passenger experience. Pittsburgh International Airport's transformation is a powerful story of turning a significant challenge into a remarkable opportunity. By choosing to right-size and modernize its infrastructure, rather than simply expanding, Pittsburgh has created a truly innovative airport. It is a place where smart engineering meets beautiful design, where any independence is a tangible reality, and where every step of a traveler's journey is made easier and more efficient. If this deep dive into Pittsburgh's airport fascinated you, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel for more amazing engineering stories, leave a comment below with your thoughts, and turn on notifications so you do not miss our next video.